Well, today we are going to the Cuomo Hot Springs. And uh, never been there before. The Aguas Termales, as they say. And uh, so it should be, uh, should be interesting. So it's the drive in. And uh, past uh, some, uh, some new development and nice houses here. It's not, uh, not your typical uh, Puerto Rican neighborhood, but uh, relatively new. And now I believe we are entering. I think this is the entrance. Head to Como Hot Spring Pools on the left. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're going to park on the right here because on the left it's yellow. Meaning that you shouldn't park there. I don't know how far away we are from the entrance, but... I think it's right up there. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, here's on. the entrance. I guess we could have driven down here and gotten a much closer parking lot spot. Not that we parked more than 75 yards up the road, but... <clears throat> there it is. Welcome to the Hot Springs facilities, it says. Uh, of course, we got some artisan stuff here. There it is. Just jump, I guess you just jump right in, I don't know. Someone wants some money somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's the tarifa fees. Yeah, we could just jump in there. But we're honorable people. Oh, wow, yep. So the price went up, we were told it was 350. It is, if you're a resident of Guama. But there were visitors, so our uh, price is uh, five dollars. Supposedly, there's a discount for seniors, but uh, doesn't uh, doesn't say that. So the price went up on uh, first of February, 2021. Um, one of the things they do to help you calm while you're here is that they have different stones and pieces of wood that are painted huh. various things like this one. <sighs> Vince. Yeah. Oh, a little gift shop has some drinks. That's good. <clears throat> Ooh, might even have some ice cream there and some T-shirts. Who do we pay? <laughs> And where do we change? Okay. Okay, so here we are, looking down. Not uh, not big. And what do we have? Two. Yep. That's what we were told. Two facilities here. So, all right. All right. Here's Lisa hanging up for us. We have uh, dressing rooms, men's and women's, and some lockers. Looks like if you bring your own lock, and... yep, bring your own lock, you can lock your stuff up in there. So here we go, we got the two, and we're going to test them out, see which one's the cool one, which you're going to first. 
This is super hot. That's warm. Let's come back to that. Oh, let's see. There's just two? There's not a... That's it. And here's the shot we're supposed to go into before you go in. Ooh. And here is the second one. And yeah. Okay. Right. Step one. Take a cold shower. You're next. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm good. Okay. Huh. This is a cool. This is a cool. Uh, but uh, he's able to stay in here for I don't know half an hour or so. Maybe get out, have some water, come back in. Gives me uh, no desire to get in the hot one. Although I might. Uh oh, we lost our chair. That's okay. Beto is going to attempt to get into the hot pool. See how that goes. Pretty darn hot. Crap. Ooh. What do you think? It's uh, warmer than my hot tub, but I keep my hot tub on a one, 100. <laughs> this is warmer? This is warmer than my hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it feels that way because it's 87 degrees out. Mm -hmm. Not a huge tub. No. Probably not the world's hottest either. Well, and uh, we're now leaving. We uh, sampled the, all, both of the tubs in a nice, extraordinarily relaxing two hours here. And uh, you know, I think that uh, it cost us uh, $2 each in the, uh, in the senior category, five hours for anyone else. But uh, you know, even on a Saturday here, it was not that busy. And uh, you know, so it's not exactly on the way to anywhere. But uh, you know, if you got a little time, go out of the way, enjoy something uh, interesting and different, you come to the, the hot springs here.